Hey, welcome back everyone. It is now the end of June of 2021, and ever since the very end of The Mandalorian Season 2's finale, a lot of fans have been very much excited and skeptical about the future of the Star Wars franchise by Disney and Lucasfilm, and exactly what's to come by Jon Favreau, Dave Filoni, and George Lucas all together. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Also, make sure to check me out at MikeZero1 on Twitter if you would like to. Now, as of right now, we do know that Lucasfilm is working on several different projects, such as The Book of Boba Fett, which, by the way, is already getting closer to post-production before it releases by this December. That actual TV series, in case you guys did not know, is going to have a major tease of a brand new TV show that's going to be coming out in 2023. So basically the Book of Boba Fett is going to serve as a bridge to new projects as well. Now, given that, of course, you know, Lucasfilm's Kathleen Kennedy over the years, she really has caused quite a number of problems with Star Wars as a whole. We're talking about the sequel trilogy. We're talking about how she handled Solo a Star Wars story and how that led to box office results that weren't really in Disney's favor, to say the least. Essentially, they lost money. However, when we go ahead and examine what John and Dave are doing right now, they are actually pulling in tons of Star Wars Legends material in order to really bring back the Star Wars fandom. They want to bring back the fans that really walked away from the sequel trilogy movies, the fans that walked away from Star Wars ever since the Gina Carano fired situation. They really want to get fans back into the Star Wars brand, and that's their end game. They really want to make it all the more successful than ever before. So what's really intriguing all has to do with what Kathleen Kennedy has planned when it comes to herself as an individual, and it may take a lot of fans by surprise here. So with of course with with of course both John Favreau and Dave Filoni now actively working on other TV shows like the Ahsoka series and even the Book of Boba Fett, it's actually described that Kathleen Kennedy is still busy working on her Ac Acolyte TV series for Disney Plus. Now, as of right now, both Kathleen Kennedy and Leslie Headland recently fell into creative differences behind the scenes, which led Disney to step in with Kathleen Kennedy, and is said to actually lose creative power from the series by this September. However, it's described that just recently, Kathleen Kennedy made a big decision recently where she is planning to leave Lucasfilm by 2022. This plan by Kathleen Kennedy is said to involve her new production company, dubbed as Starlight Productions and that Kathleen Kennedy has this end game in mind of hers that will actually be unveiled by this, of course, second quarter of 2022 next year, where she plans to leave Lucasfilm and leave the Star Wars brand behind. Now, Disney is actually described to already have three candidates in store to take over as president of Lucasfilm once Kathleen Kennedy leaves the Star Wars brand in the past. Additionally, it's noted that Kathleen Kennedy has been very stressed over the past couple um, number of months from the fan backlash over what happened with the entirety of Star Wars, including the sequel trilogy movies, and even her overall direction with Star Wars of how she handled some of the creators, getting either fired or replaced with others on and off. This major plan by Kathleen Kennedy is going to be teased by early 2022 that will catch fans by surprise. Disney has been trying to keep quiet about Kathleen Kennedy's decision over at Lucasfilm to leave Star Wars as it would make them appear in, in a way that they would not want to, to the entire community. Now in the meantime, Kathleen Kennedy is already beginning to round up some of the visual artists, some of the illustrators and the writers over at Lucasfilm to become a part of her new production company dubbed as Starlight Productions. Now, I want to stop right here for one second, because this is a very interesting development for Kathleen Kennedy. The fact that she is planning to leave Lucasfilm by the second quarter of 2022, and how this is something that Disney has been trying to cover up in order for themselves to not look foolish over Star Wars. It seems as though that Disney does not want the fandom to react in a very overly positive way of Kathleen Kennedy leaving as it would kind of put more pressure on her as a person. I guess they don't want to be responsible for that. Or, of course, it's just bad for their overall image. 
I, however, think that Disney should not cover up for Kathleen Kennedy's plans to leave Lucasfilm. It just doesn't make all that much sense to me. But I can definitely see through exactly why they are actually covering this up. Now, the thing about her production company, we talked about this a couple of weeks ago, that it's going to essentially be everyone's worst nightmare. It's basically going to be a very agenda-driven production company for new TV shows and movies and the like out there, and how it's really going to be basically Kathleen Kennedy's dream come true from what it sounds like. She's not going to be around for a very long time at that actual new company that she's planning, as she's actually planning to eventually retire completely from Hollywood by 2023. She wants to bring things pretty much right on with this new production company, kind of get things rolling and kind of just give it that little bit of a push while she's still around. Now, the other thing that really does really take me by surprise as well is we talked about this just yesterday is that of course everything related to Disney Star Wars all right everything related to Lucasfilm together we also know that Kathleen Kennedy has been firing directors and writers on and off for the Acolyte series it really has not been that great for the Acolyte TV show you know there's a lot of problems happening behind the scenes for this new series there's a lot of issues happening with Kathleen Kennedy because of what Disney had to do. They had to step in and tell her that you got to go. You got to leave by this September. So she's losing her creative control over that show by September of this year. So September is going to be a very interesting month. I think that everybody should, you know, mark that month pretty much on their calendar because that's going to be the very moment in which Kathleen Kennedy basically has no creative power at all whatsoever over at Lucasfilm. Now, in the meantime, John Favreau, all right, he's actually doing a lot of work. I mean, this guy is working day in and day out with the Book of Boba Fett with his partner, Dave Filoni. He's also working very hard on the Ahsoka Tano series. Again, that's going to be a show that's going to be very groundbreaking. It's going to introduce the worlds between worlds in live action. It's going to give the fans a brand new perspective on the netherworld of the Force and how the, you know, different aspects of time work by Dave Filoni. That's going to be a very interesting way for basically Dave and John to implement little aspects of time travel, in a sense, into Star Wars in live action. Some of you guys might not like that, but that's fine. Now... I think that this is a very interesting development for Kathleen Kennedy. We're going to find out more about this by this fall, alright? So we're going to be learning more and more about this new production company, Starlight Productions, that actually Disney is trying to cover up because they don't want to actually make the fans overly positive about her departure over at Lucasfilm. So like I said guys, you know, drop a comment below. Let me know about all of this in the comments, and if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.